Buenos dias. Good morning to everybody. So I wanted to do something special today on this channel. I wanted to record myself actually building a YouTube channel, actually building a brand from scratch. And today is November the 12th. Actually, I just woke up, so I haven't even took a shower. I haven't even gotten ready. And I'm working on this new brand where I'm going to be, basically it's going to be on self-development. And the message and the purpose of the brand is to actually help people to live as their highest self. So I wanted to document myself building this brand, the journey, how I built it, how I get the team together, how I create the content. Um, hopefully someone out there can kind of, anyone that is building a brand also can kind of get a feel and can kind of get a little bit of tip throughout the video that can help them throughout their journey. So now I got the chance to get ready and I want to share the channel with you guys. So usually first day, whenever I have a channel idea, first day I create the channel, I came up with the name. And I create the channel art, I create the logo on the first day. And some people struggle to do that on the in a week or a month, but usually I do this on the first day. So I'm gonna rotate my screen and I'm gonna show you guys the channels. Well, I'm gonna show you guys the channel. So this is one of the channel I created, State of Free Will. Um, basically the purpose of this channel, um, right now we're recording this, it's November, it's November 12th. It's November 12th, we're in 2021. So I don't know when I'm going to upload this video and we have no video yet. Now this channel, I created the account in like October, which was last month. Um, and usually in the description, nothing much, just helping you to live as your highest self, which is the midst of the channel. And that's the purpose I created, created this channel is from my personal experience to help people share different messages and documentary form to helping people to live as their highest self. And usually I use Canva to create the logo and the name just came out of my head. Um, and the channel art, I use snapper.com to create the, the channel art. And now basically to be able to create a channel, you need three, four things, I believe. So you need the script writer. So once you have a video idea for your channel, whenever you have a video idea, um, you need a script writer. Then after the script writer, you need the, the voiceover. And after the voiceover, you need a video editor to put the the editing over the video and after the video editor you need a thumbnail designer for people sorry my head is not here well it is here so you technically need four people to be able to help you to manage the channel make it a little bit more automated so you don't really have to create the content so you you act just as the producer of the channel like in a movie you're the producer you kind of handle those people but it is those people that does what they do best since a voiceover artist you let them do what they do best so basically what I do, I'm going to rotate my screen again to show you guys how I found the people, how I post a job to be able to create the channel for me. So one of the websites that I use, I, I use Upwork, Upwork.com. As you can see, I'm doing a job like right now at the moment I'm shooting this. Um, if I go to my jobs. So when you go to Upwork, you just click once you create an account or whatever, you click post a job. And there's a lot of YouTube videos on this and you just basically post a job saying, hey, I'm looking for one, you're gonna do four separate job. Hey, I'm looking for a script writer and you're gonna do another job saying, hey, I'm looking for a voice over artist. You're gonna do another job saying, hey, I'm looking for a, um, a, a thumbnail designer. And you're gonna do another job saying, hey, I'm looking for a video editor. And usually for people who are not familiar with what Upwork is, and also I use Fiverr here and there and there's some other website that I use, onlinejob.ph, I use voices.com. So basically those websites, those freelancer website are a website where you can actually post any sort of gig jobs um, or project you need someone to do for you or a professional. And you're able to find professional all over the world that are on those site that you're able to, that you that are able to do the project for you. Say for example, I'm a student, I go to college and I have a paper due on, um, on history. I can find someone on Upwork that's really knowledgeable on a specific history and I can get them to write the paper. And similar thing, if I want to do a video on a specific topic, I can find the people to write the script, the people to make the video for me on those websites. Um, so that's basically what a freelancer website is, if you know what a freelancer website is. So I use Upwork and I also use Fiverr um, most of the time. I use some other website, but I use those two most of the time to be able to find talent. And it's easy. Once you come up with your channel idea, say the free will and I have an idea of what the content is going to be like, <clears throat> possibly if you have other channel. I'll post a job. I'm gonna, I don't mind showing you guys the one that I'm that I'm posting now. You know, so hey, I'm starting a YouTube channel that focuses on creating documentaries, like film with the message of unity. Um, need to change that. And yada, yada, yada. 
<clears throat> that was a that was an old post by the way and i'm looking for professional that was for video editor so for the title i just put okay i don't see the title i just put i'm looking for a video editor something like that oh yeah here's the title looking for professional video editor for youtube channel that create documentary promote unity so usually especially these days i work on a brand where i'm really passionate about or i'm trying to share a good message or that align with me so that's why those are a little bit personal the message compared to just in the past i used to make a lot of channel that i used to generate more money which is good but i, f I find it more fun and interesting when you're starting a business where you actually have a passion on so the idea i say the process will go from this and this and this and that usually i, I like to send a channel example even though the channel is not related to mine as long as they have the editing that i want especially something for a video editor i send a video sample if i'm doing a script writer i most likely would try to look for a channel that have similar messages of me so i can send an, an example that i like if you can't maybe you're starting a channel and there's no other channel that you can find that's actually a good thing it means you're not in a saturated niche so you need, you need to be creative um to come up with your own well you need to be creative to be able to tell the editor how you want your editing to be done and the price that doesn't matter. I just put a hundred. Obviously, it's got, it might vary based on how much work the editor would do and their um, the quality that they give me. I might pay them more, or I might pay them less. So I just put a hundred because it required for you to put the money for 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 you to get a for you for you to post a job. So like this old post over here, posted twenty eight days ago. Usually, when you post it, you're gonna have proposal. So when you click on the proposal, you can see people that actually um, propose to do the project for you and they'll give you their information, yada, yada, yada. And you can click on their, uh, you can click on their name, see what they're offering. If they send sample, um, you can get the sample. If they, you can also message them. Let me see, where can I message them? Yeah, so message them, you can click message and you can send them a message. Maybe you want to go into more detail, then you can message them and go into more detail with them. Now, usually I'll do the same thing on Upwork and Fiverr. I'll interview each of them. And when I interview each of them, I showed, I tell them the message of the brand. Where, where am I trying to get with the brand? And that we're just starting a new brand and, hit, and this and this and this and that. Basically information of what, of what I'm trying to accomplish with the brand. And mainly for me, it's not just revenue wise because there's a lot of people there on YouTube. I, my goal is to make a thousand. My goal is to make 10,000. My goal is to make a, a million and this and this and this and that. Um... I got to the point where I'm more, I'm more, and I was really money driven. I'm more impact driven, which is why I'm starting like though that specific brand state of free will. Um, though I'm looking at the money, though I want to surpass 10k a month for the channel in the beginning, I want to surpass 100k and possibly surpass a million dollar per month for that brand. But I, when I'm interviewing people, I tell them the reason why I started the brand because I have a specific personal reason why I started. And I tell them what am I trying to accomplish with it, the people I'm trying to reach with, the the change I'm trying to make with the brand. Usually when you tell people that, they're more able to relate and you can find the person that give off the right energy that match what you're trying to accomplish. So usually I'll go through the list of people that, that send in their application and I'll message them. The people that actually qualify or I said they have a good, they send me a good message and they they possibly give me a good sample if they don't give me a good sample then i'll ask for a sample um or if it's a video edit i'll send them a voiceover and I'll, I'll, I'll ask them to edit a video over it for me so i can see their style but basically i'll go through the go through the list and i'll take out those i don't like and i'll message the one that i do like and usually i get them on a zoom call i always get people on a zoom call i don't care if you're shy if you're shy and you don't want to get on a zoom call usually um i don't do I don't move on with that person because I working with someone, especially with my brand, I work with people long term. If I'm going to work, work with you long term, I need to be able to see your face. I need to be able to communicate with you. You know, I need to be able to build a connection with you because um, at the end of the day, all of my channel are a little bit personal for me. So, you know, I'm someone that really manages my channel and I like it. I like to be able to know everyone that is working on the brand. So I don't have anybody. I've never worked with anybody that's working on my brand that I don't know who the person is um, that is working on my brand. So I usually get them on a Zoom call and I interview them, tell them what the brand is about. And next, I give them a specific, ask them to give me a specific sample that is relating to what the channel is about. So if it's a script writer I'm interviewing, I'm like, hey, so we're making a channel that talks about cars, for example. Um, can you give me a one minute script, which is around 200, 300 word on 
on the hitting five things most people doesn't know about a about a Toyota RAV4. So can you give me something a, a short 30, 100, 100 to 300 word script on top 10 thing, hitting thing that most people don't know about RAV4. So I want to see, say I'm doing a car channel and that's what the route I was going for. So whatever your niche is, you want to kind of get a sample from that script writer, that voiceover or that specific um, editor. And if it's a voiceover artist, usually I don't have to get a script made to give to them to kind of get a sample from them. I just go on a YouTube channel and that are similar to mine and I trans and I look for the transcript or the transcribe, whichever one of the video. So basically the script of the video and I copy it and I make them read it so I can kind of see if their voice will match over the brand. So that's basically it. That's, uh, that's what I'll do on the first day. I'll post a job. But of course, the interview will be done throughout a week because I give it some time when I post a job to get some people within a week. I start interviewing. So within two weeks, two to three weeks, um, I have the brand created and I have possible team. So within the next four, within four weeks, I already have people that are creating the content. So it literally took a month. And I'm going to keep you guys updated until this the November 12th. Um, Friday, the brand is created and I post a job by the way, and I'm going to have some talent and I'm going to keep you guys updated when the process of when we're going to get the video, uh, how we make the video, how I do the calls and also when the video is uploaded and you guys can keep updated. You guys can see the brand and see how the progress is going from that end. Cause also, um, I want to see kind of like the, cause I want to work. A little bit since it's my first time working with Ray, I want to work a little bit closely and kind of make sure that the editing is aligning. So I know the editing is probably one of the toughest part. So I know that's probably going to take more than a week, probably. So maybe in two weeks or so, possibly. Okay. You guys just.